Welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, we're going for our Chaos Chamber level 8 upgrade now. Let's just... Uh, I'm sorry, that is the wrong thing. We want Chaos Trials, please. Alright. Let's get into this. See what kind of boss we got, how, mu how much more difficult this is. I'm just going to keep running through these. I'm not going to go out and level up at all until I just get decimated and can't progress. So... Oh, I hate this one so much. That's cool. I need you guys to drop fire modes. I can hold up to three of them. Uh, just give me an extra 30 seconds. We're still one-shotting most of these guys. Of course, they don't have any modifiers on them yet. Uh, we need him to spawn quicker so I can kill him quicker, though. You gotta have time with these fire orbs. You know, unless I just get two of them right there. I don't think there's 20 bosses in the game, if my memory is right. Looks like it's gonna start adding in raid bosses, which will be interesting if that's the case. Yeah, that would be interesting if, like, the last three levels were just the raid bosses at the end. Uh, anything that's good? No. Oh yeah, we got uh, Frozen Vengeance, or we got Rain Rapture. Frozen Vengeance. Another Fire Moat. Now we're dealing with the Coiled on this one. I don't get why they're electrified. So I need to get to that side objective. I can feed it. girl at. There she is. Stop circling my ice horse so I can shoot you. Suicide bombs, please. There we go. Okay. 
like, I need upgrades worth a damn. Alright, so we got a max ward. Always they go mental damage increase. I never used to, but it's it's just so good. Why don't you get the mod? Because I'm not sure if there's a modifier that actually makes <laughs> elemental damage worse. It's one that I don't remember or recognize. <laughs> we got a uh, elemental overflow and we got anarchy. Well, let's take Anarchy, plus 100 recoil. Got more gun damage though, that's a bonus. Fire spirits again. Skeletons, bad day for you. Am I hitting this thing or not? What the hell? Anyone else want to try it? I think it was immune for some reason. <laughs> Feed you. Uh, this will answer the question if fire orbs just get automatically absorbed if they're close enough. Heads up, we got company. But it does not look like they do. Oh, well, looks like we've got another upgrade that we want. Fire orb, please. They'll give me an additional 15 seconds to deal with the shenanigans. An orange with that fire orb. I don't really get to see what it was. We should be able to finish it here shortly, though. There we go. I definitely saw a purple upgrade out there though. He's got a. There it was. Oh, it was the elemental damage. Nice. Our elemental damage will do an additional 40%. Plus two to skill. Reload, gun handling. Weapon damage. I will definitely go grab that. I think it's kind of weird that they separate out melee and gun damage. It should just be increased damage. Well, I guess because spell damage is separate too. Died. Uh, 
Oh, these guys are starting to get definitely a lot more health. I think they're at 200% HP now. So, all the enemies will have double health. Uh, we got the Death Rattler. I do not remember this guy. He must be from a side quest. Side quests are super early on in the game. Any ice orbs tracking me? Nope. Oh, we're starting to get some good legendary drops. Uh, just as world pops. Uh, do we got any sitting out and around? No. Nope. Alright. Uh, we got no real... Got uh, the six here. Really six. Got seven, eight, nine... Yeah, out of all of these, not one of them is the one I want. We'll take critical damage. Wait, I missed the bonus objective? I thought I was feeding the fire guy. Or did I not even see that on this one? I don't remember. It was probably a melee damage thing. Which, you know, fun. Give me a... Uh, give, me, give me a melee damage challenge with flying guys. That totally makes sense. Also, every time those three orbs hit hits this guy, I'm supposed to get shields back. That's the way my oh, melee weapon works. So we're probably not going to go for the melee boss. Most of these enemies are flying enemies. Because, like, all of the, each one of those orbs is supposed to give me uh, all the damage I deal with them and shields back. It does not look like it's doing that, though. Oh, that melee counts. It's just, it'll take way too long. Please won't get the bonus on this one. Aiming top up over here. <laughs> been hardly a scratch. But if anyone happens to have some healing. I not get that bonus. I feel magical. I didn't even look at any of the upgrades. Weapon handling, not worth. Increased shield capacity, not worth. Increased ammo, definitely not worth. Might be worth if you haven't been getting your ammo upgrades, but... I've gotten quite a few of my ammo upgrades. 
Ooh, we're on the devil's number for our currency. Interesting. I don't really feel like getting a bunch of modifiers on this run. So I'm looking more for completion than anything else. Especially as I'm not getting any side quests, so I won't get as big of a bonus as I normally get. But it's not like I have a shit melee weapon, it's just I'm not built for melee damage at all. I'd probably be sucking it up real bad if I didn't get this sniper rifle to drop. It just decimates everything with the build I have. I know, if you've seen my other videos, I just keep on praising the sniper rifle. It's just that good. I've yet to find a better weapon. Ah, oh, what's my bonus over here? Dark magic efficiency. Uh, still a double portal. I'm not going to elite run these ones anymore. I don't think we killed it yet. Back in business. Does anyone pay attention to Max Carry Way? What? Oh, critical damage. Fourteen K on a crit. That's a lot of damage. Oh, uh, we got movement speed, movement and reload speed, and a bunch of shield stuff. Already? Oh, I guess it's been 18 minutes. I didn't even realize it. Wait, isn't this... Is this Ribula? I think this is the first boss. Oh, no. No, it's Zomboss. I remember if Ribula or Zomboss are the first one. I think Zomboss is actually the first one. I think Ribula is after him. No, Ribula's first, that's right. Zomboss is second. Time for a spell. Haha, <laughs> get it? Time for a spell. As in spells. Alright, enough of that stupidity. Get our money, complete this, and get out of here. Top 100, top 80, 50. 50 for time. Ugh. 
If only I had three mushroom companions. Uh, still not running any, uh... Again, like my last video, I'm gonna try to get a good chaotic, uh, machine gun. We didn't really get that many, uh, modifiers, so our money's a little lacking here. And so is our merchandise, sad face. Magic time! Alright. I really wish when you increase your uh, chaos level, your moon orb cap would go. Because some of the weapons I have are like 4,026, I think, for cost. Which, you can't go above 4,000, so you can't modify it anymore. I wish they would just get rid of the cap or change it so it just costs 4,000 to modify once you get to that point. And you just keep rolling without having to get a, another one to luckily drop that has the same or good or status effects and change it back. But, enough of that rambling. We're uh, ending this video up with our Chaos Level 9. And then we'll do the Chaos Knight trial here shortly. But that will be in another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Fight the Zomboss, which is the second boss of the campaign. He's pretty easy. The old just electric and fire. No, corrosive and fire. Think of somebody else. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, later guys.